All right, people, Catfish Dave here. It's the middle of January. Temps are in the mid-30s with wind. Uh, it's kind of the reason I got back in this cove. I thought I could get out of the wind, but it's still blowing in my face here. I'm at what they call International Harbor, Friendsville, Tennessee, using a combination of uh, gizzard shad, frozen skipjack. Title of this video is how to catch catfish in the cold. I'm trying out a new kind of braided line this morning. I've already used reaction braid, which is a four strand braid and I like it. Uh, this here is called a Cast King Superpower, I believe. It's an 80 pound, eight strand braid. Like all my braided reels, that blue stuff on the top is 25 to 30 feet of Andy 80 pound monster blue. I've got that attached to my braid with what I call a double Albright knot. And when you reel this knot up onto these non-level wine reels, you want to get the knot over to the right side of the reel or the left side of the reel so that when you throw, that knot doesn't hit your thumb. Of course, anytime you got a knot like that, you want some decent sized guides for it to go through and you want a non-level wind reel so that the knot doesn't catch into the level line. I haven't caught a fish with his cast king yet. I just spooled it up. Wanted to give another cheap braid a try. I like the reaction. Let's try this cast king. I tried to get that bait kind of more towards the marina, but this crosswind kind of got me pretty close to my other bait. Either way, there's water out there, so there should still be a catfish out there somewhere. It is uh, January 19th, it says. It's 9.54 a.m. Late morning is the perfect time to hook into a good blue cat this time of year in these back creeks. I could have showed up earlier, but then I would have missed breakfast. It's awful cold out. I'm gonna go get my Daniel Boone cap. That's what the stuff looks like. There was a uh, 547 yards on this spool, and it was dirt cheap. A guy named Chris Pluck from Europe said this is all he uses for those Wells cats. He says he's landed over 200 pound fish on them. Of course, the only deal with braid, I don't know what it's like over in France. We got a lot of rock around here, which is one of the reasons I tie the heavy top shot on my reels. Gives me some brazen resistance around the business end. I'm hoping this wind slacks off a little bit as the day goes on. I'm not getting that great of a cast when it ain't to my back. I do best here with the far cast. That's where that channel is out there. Little dink bite on the uh, frozen skipjack. Hopefully we don't get too much more of that. Yeah, he's still hungry. That almost sounds like a dang channel cat. This is way, way up a backwater creek. Very large backwater creek. It's kind of part of Ish Creek, typically in the winter. There's fish in here. Sometimes there's some good ones. I'm gonna go grab a warmer jacket. It's one thing to be cold, but it's another thing when it's windy and cold. I'm gonna go up to the truck, Get a goose down jacket. If I get a bite, holler. Thank you. 
I believe that old dink fish chewed off my skipjack, so I'm gonna check it. He bit the bottom right out of it. That's a sign of a channel cap for sure. Hands wet, you know it. Old frozen skipjack got the first one. It ain't no giant, but it's a catfish in the cold. I backlashed that first cast, stopped it dead in its tracks. My shock leader stayed on, my bait stayed on. This cold weather, man, everything acts funny, including my thumb on that reel. Either way, first fish landed, and it was on the cast King Braid. Not a peep on the gizzard shad yet. I really don't like using cut bluegill, but you never know what kind of weird mood fish will be in. It's not a real active bite. I've got two baits out in one location. I'm gonna walk this Abbott reel out off that dock and throw towards that other bank over there. You never know until you throw. So I'm gonna find out. Just a little bonus rod over there. I'm not getting any kind of cast at all in this cold. Plus the wind, that cold weather gets in the oil of them bearings and thickens them up. Perfectly calm day, I could probably get a little bit of distance, but I've had it get so cold that I would put my reels in my truck with the heater on and let them get good and warm and then run out and cast real quick. It's 10.48, I'm gonna give it to about 
If nothing's good happened by then, I'm going to go ahead and pull anchor. I'll be dang, best fish of the morning. Come on a bait, I figured I wouldn't get anything on. Old bluegill head. And uh, typically, when I catch fish here, I mean, I've fished this place plenty of times. They're usually out in that channel. This fish was by himself over towards them docks. My hands are real cold now. I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna get another piece of bluegill and walk it over there. Typically, you don't get much on bluegill in this water system. But like I said, you never know about these crazy fish. You never know until you throw. So keep a variety of baits and spread them out because where you think the fish are, there might be something better over there. You never know. That sun's coming up, it's moving behind a tree. Starting to put me in the shade. I don't like that. I've got some extremely small fish chewing on my skipjack. It's been going on a while. I'd say there ain't much left but some skin. Gizzard shad hasn't had a bite all morning, which I find odd in the winter. And this wind just ain't let up. It can't just be cold, it's got to be cold and windy.
Well, I just broke off my cast cane rig. I ain't never got hung up out here before, but I sure did that time. Guess I'll go tie another one on. If I get a bite, holler. I guess it was that rod going off. Can't hardly hear in this hat. I heard one of them going off. Then I lost my mustad demon. I don't never bait up with bluegill hardly. But one of the fish was landed on bluegill. And that bite I missed while I was retying this rig was on bluegill. Gizzard Chad ain't had a single hit, so I went ahead and I put a bluegill on this cast king. Ain't got nothing to lose. Also, that's two bites farther towards this side. Now the wind is blowing this way. Now we got two with bluegill on. I am officially in the shade now. That's what I need when it's cold and windy. There's another one on the bluegill. I went up to the truck again. I could hear a clicker going off. With all this on my ears, I couldn't tell which one it was. So I ran down here first, realized it wasn't here, then went out to the dock and managed to get this one. But obviously, I need to check that gizzard check because man, it ain't been hit all day. But. There's another cold water International Harbor Blue Cat.
old bluegill head on my casking rod just got a small bite. He's still playing with it. Old channel cat that time around. He's a nice fish for a channel cat. Usually they lose their spots when they start getting some size, but this one still have some hints of black spots on it. Good looking channel cat on the bluegill. Got some Walmart eagles showing up. It is sunny everywhere except for right here where I'm standing. That dag blasted sun has went behind that tree and now I'm standing in the coldest spot that I could be. And since it's cold outside, that ain't the best scenario for me. Seems like the best bite was on bluegill today. I caught it, so I brought it. Typically that ain't the way it works here in the Tennessee River, but it did today. That one fish I missed was probably going to be the best fish of the day. Either way, four fish landed on a short, cold morning trip. Gizzard Shad ain't caught Jack Doodley's squat, and that doesn't happen a lot. Not in the winter. Usually that's your key bait. But I threw it out, sat and wait, and today, I don't think it'd catch a single fish, even if I stayed late. Frozen Skipjack got one. Got a bunch of dink bites chewing on it after that. That's why I switched to the bluegill. Either way, people, catching catfish in the cold is pretty much just like all my other how to catch catfish videos. The only difference is you gotta check the temperature because if it ain't cold, you're not gonna catch a catfish in the cold. A guy I know named Mark Manis, he comes up here out of Georgia, fishes quite a bit. He's the one that recommended a North Face goose down jacket. And I don't have anything on under these jeans. I've got this jacket on. I got my head covered up good. And other than my hands being cold, I feel okay. If I had some coveralls on, I'd say that would really make my day but I don't. I got them in the truck, just too lazy to put them on. All right, people. It's time for me to get some lunch. Morning bite seems to be over. This is Catfish Dave from International Harbor, Friendsville, Tennessee. This is a video. There was fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one, signing out.